Join the global partnership for e-waste statistics. Information and communication technologies offer great opportunities for sustainable development. But discarded equipment, such as phones, laptops, sensors, TVs and batteries, contain substances that pose considerable environmental and health risks, especially if treated inadequately. E-waste constitutes one of the fastest growing streams of solid waste. This is because of the rapid pace of change in technologies, shorter product lifestyles and designs that do not support repair or reuse. In addition, more people are using ICTs. A lot of e-waste is not, or not properly, recycled and ends up in dump sites. Only anecdotal evidence is available on the management and recycling of e-waste and valuable resources, including gold, are wasted. Measuring e-waste is an important step towards addressing the e-waste challenge. Statistics help to evaluate developments over time and set and assess targets and policies. Better e-waste data will help minimise its generation, preventing illegal dumping, promote recycling and create jobs in the reuse, refurbishment and recycling sectors. It will contribute to the achievement of the Sustainable Development Goals, in particular SDG 12, to ensure sustainable consumption and production patterns. The International Telecommunication Union, ITU, the UN specialised agency for ICTs, has set a target to reduce the volume of redundant e-waste by 50% by 2020. Today, only a limited number of countries measure e-waste. To address this challenge, ITU, the United Nations University and the International Solid Waste Association have joined forces to create the Global E-Waste Statistics Partnership. Its main objective is to improve, collect and analyse worldwide e-waste statistics. The partnership will raise awareness, encourage governments to track e-waste and carry out workshops to build national capacity. Join us and demonstrate your governments, organisations or companies' commitment to tackle the e-waste challenge and make a difference.